This is the second quarter of underperformance. And we just if we can just split it down in terms of the areas, obviously equity is very well done. Fixed income and real estate perhaps a little bit more of a drag. I want to focus on fixed income first of all. Where were your biggest losses in fixed income? And everybody's struggling with this. When you see this yield spike, is this the top of the repricing in the bond market? Are you inclined now to take advantage of higher yields to add duration? Well, thanks for having me on. Um, so, you know, we are a long-term investor. We are investing in global equities and global fixed income, 70% uh, equities, 30% bonds. And so um, it's important for us what happens in the, in the interest rate market. Of course, we've seen the rise uh, last year up to 5% on the 10-year uh, treasuries, down to uh, below 4% and now picking up again. So that will have a mark-to-market -market effect on our portfolio, but we're not overly concerned about that. I mean, we are, as a long-term savings vehicle, it's better for us that interest rates are high, uh, essentially. Right. Uh, and in that, Trond, because the market has done something, which you all over at Nordjus Bank have been talking about anyway, that we had kind of a ridiculous amounts of cuts priced into this market. And they had to go, and that's what the market is working through and digesting. Do you think the worst of the bond tantrum is now over? Have we finished that digestion and pricing out of cuts? Well, it's hard to say, right? It's, it's changed remarkably in a, in a rather short period of time. I mean, going into this year, we had an expectation of, what was it, six cuts uh, from the Fed this year, and we're now down to two or even below two. So uh, who knows what's going to happen, right? And, uh, and inflation has proven to be a little bit more sticky, maybe, than, than people anticipated. And, and the Fed has said that they will be looking at the data, the hard data, and, uh, and be data-driven in their decision-making. So we'll have to see.